Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial on editing the Manifest and Legend in Rapidplan. The Manifest and Legend are two key annotation tools that will be required to finalize your plan. You may not know already, but they are fully flexible and customizable. In this tutorial, I will st step you through how you can adjust them to your liking. As you can see, the plan I have here is ready for annotating. I will now add the manifest and legend and show you how we can manipulate them. Just note that the properties for both manifest and legend work the same way. In regards to, in regards to sizing the manifest or legend, simply just left click on one of them and you can use the resize handles to make it larger or smaller by holding down the shift button and left clicking and dragging in or out. When the legend or manifest is selected, in its top right, there is a find objects button. Now, if your plan has several objects and they're hard to locate, this will come in handy. So as you can see, when I hover over each item on the legend, it will highlight that specific corresponding object on your plan. Items on either the manifest or legend will be added or removed when this specific action is performed. For example, if I add this sign here, it will appear on the manifest. If I remove it, it will take it off automatically. This applies to any object or sign that you use on your plan. By default, signs won't appear on your legend, but you can change this if you wish. Let me show you how this can be done. For example, this sign here, if I select it and move over to its properties, there is an option to enable or disable its visibility in the manifesto legend. Simply toggle this button here if you are wanting to hide an item on your manifest or legend, as you can see. To further customize the manifest and legend to suit the plan, simply left click to select it and move over to the properties on the right side, right hand side here. To shape the box to your liking, we can simply change the box mode here from Auto to Custom. As you can see, this will now display a red control point in the bottom right of the box. This will allow you to change the proportions of it. This can come in handy if you have a varying amount of objects on the plan and need your legend or manifest to display in more than one row. Further to this, if you would like to fit more objects into the box, simply adjust the padding size here to reduce the amount of space between each object description. The text size can also be altered for this purpose. You can also change the font, color and other text alterations as shown here. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invariant.